Hello everyone. Welcome back to my DIY channel. Today, we're going to transform an old lighter, something you might think is just trash, into a unique and super cool item. Are you ready to unleash your creativity? Hit like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let's get started right now. Do you guys have these little disposable lighters lying around at home? You know, the ones we usually toss away without a second thought? Well, don't throw them out just yet. All right, first step, completely disassemble the lighter and take out all of its parts. This is a disposable lighter. It's designed to be used just once and then thrown away. Old disposable lighters. Most of us just throw them away without thinking twice. They pile up as trash, taking years to break down in the environment. But what if we could turn something so ordinary, even considered useless, into something creative and cool? Instead of adding more waste, Let's give these little lighters a second life. Now, let's grab a drill and gently widen the hole at the top of the lighter to make space for our next step. Drill an extra hole at the bottom of the lighter. Cleaning the cut areas and the inside is important to make sure everything fits well and works properly later. Next, we'll need a tire valve. Just a regular one from an old bicycle or motorbike tire will work perfectly. You can get this type of valve from an old bicycle or motorbike tire. If you don't have one, check with local repair shops. They often have old tires they're happy to give away. Now, let's remove the nuts in the valve and carefully attach it to the lighter. Make sure it's nice and secure. To make sure it stays perfectly in place, I'll use a bit of super glue around the connection and let it set tightly. To make the joint even stronger, I'm going to sprinkle a little baking soda onto the glue. This trick helps the glue set faster and creates a rock solid connection. The combination of super glue and baking soda creates a fast setting rock hard material. When the two come into contact, they instantly harden and form a very strong, durable bond. Usually, it only takes a few seconds to set, but for the best result, I recommend waiting about 5 to 10 minutes to make sure it's completely solid. Next, I'll work on the wiring. 
You can adjust the temperature yourself by changing the wiring or adding a resistor. It's super flexible for small welding tasks. I'll thread the wire through the tire valve, making sure it slides smoothly, and then pull it all the way through the hole at the bottom of the lighter. I'm going to carefully peel off the outer plastic layer of the wire to get to the shiny copper core inside. This part is a bit delicate. You need to strip just enough to free the copper without damaging it. One end of the wire is connected to the valve, and the other end is connected to a battery clamp. I need one more wire, with both ends connected to two battery clamps. The battery clamp allow for quick connections, easy installation, and adjustments if needed. This clamp terminal is usually designed with a spring clip or screw tightening mechanism, making it easy to attach and remove without complex tools. These are old batteries. I'll repurpose the graphite rod from old batteries to make the soldering tip. Graphite is a good conductor of electricity and has a high melting point, making it a great choice for this project. Now, let's disassemble the battery to extract the graphite rod inside. I'll start by carefully peeling off the outer casing of the old battery. I'll carefully use pliers to lightly press the tip of the battery. Just a gentle squeeze is enough to loosen the cap and make it easier to remove. Now just gently pull the core out. Be careful not to break or bend it while removing.
I'll sharpen one end to improve the welding contact point. Attach the graphite rod to the valve. Now, let's prepare a motorcycle battery. It has a voltage of 12V, which is enough to power this welding machine. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal and the blue wire to the negative terminal. Let's test it with aluminum foil. It's super hot. When the welding machine touches a foil, you'll notice a quick spark and a slight sizzling sound. The heat transfers almost instantly, causing the foil to melt and bond tightly to the surface below. Now, I'm going to use the spot welder to weld these two razor blades together. By welding them, I can create a stronger and more stable connection between the blades, which will be used as part of the welding tip. I'll carefully align them and apply just enough heat to bond them securely without damaging the blades.
So that's it. Our homemade soldering iron works surprisingly well. It can heat up quickly, melt solder efficiently, and create solid, reliable joints. With just a few simple materials and a bit of creativity, we've turned an old lighter and some basic parts into a fully functional DIY soldering tool. If you love making things yourself, this is definitely worth trying.